Hi there, welcome to Trovi Gardens. There's a big clump of Hemerocarlis here, or daylily, that's got that real autumnal look where the leaves have died back and they've flopped and they've completely smothered the, this big clump of uh, Hemerocarlis that we have here. And normally with herbaceous plants, I try to leave them. I don't like to cut them back. I like to leave them in the borders for a little bit of winter interest and some nice areas for wildlife to hide. But certain herbaceous plants really do need tidying up. I've done the peonies, the herbaceous peonies already. And plants like Hemerocarlis, what happens is these big broad leaves, once they die back, they flop and they smother the entire crown of the plant. And what that does is that it stops air from accessing the crown of the plant. And so the plant itself might die back and rot because these plants will get wet and heavy. And what will happen is, the buds that will come through next year will get completely crowded out and with the rain and the frost uh, it, it just basically rots the crown of the plant and so it's really a good time of year in November once they do this once they die back naturally and flop over the crown is to cut them back you can normally just pick, pull it out so a lot of it would just be basically a slimy mess so with daylilies just get in there once the, once the plant dies back and just pull back and pull away all this slimy dead foliage just to get um, some exposure to the crown of the plant, get the air flowing over the winter because most herbaceous plants, if they do perish, will perish over a wet and cold winter. It's not normally ice or cold itself that kills plants, it's the wet alongside the cold. So this slimy wet dead foliage is just a recipe for disaster for the crown of the plant. So other plants you can do this with, uh, um, arum lilies, similar big broad foliage, which tends to flop over and just smother the crown of the plant. Hostas as well. So any plant that has this, this type of dead foliage on the crown of the plant, pull it up and expose the crown so it doesn't rot and die over the winter.